everyone and welcome to this Let's Play Pharaoh A New Era. Now, I must admit, I'm a wee bit late jumping onto the Let's Play here. Um, the game was released a wee bit ago. My apologies for not bringing it sooner. I know we said we were bringing it sooner when we did the demo last year. We would go on this release. But I've been a wee bit busy. You may have noticed I've been struggling to keep up to date with a few things on the channel recently. But I'm hoping to bring them back in full soon. Um, but yes, Pharaoh, a new era. Let's jump in and let's uh, try it. I did. Now, my excuse is I wanted to make sure everything was working fine and it was going to play fine. But uh, in reality, even though I didn't have the time to jump in and do a let's play, I did have the time to jump in and do the first couple of levels and play. Um, so I did that. So this isn't new to me at the moment. So we've already made our family. And I've not tried any of this, to be honest. Standalone missions, but we are going to be doing the campaign. And we are going to be jumping back to ignore this. You just don't see this. Wait, you can go back, right? Wait, 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 wait. Surely. Surely it lets you redo levels. No, I want to click the ones down there! Oh well. We'll just skip to level f No, actually, no, I want to do it from the start. It's mainly just been tutorial so far. There's got to be a way to do it. Ah, you know what we'll do? Is we can come back. And we can just grab someone and just do BLC2. BCC then. Great family. BCC. Proceed. Proceed. There we go. Hey, back to level one. Get six meager shanties. Play. Because it's not really much storyline, but history, so to speak. There's a wee bit. <laughs> you know what I mean. Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. Here you'll participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. In an epic story that spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations. You must lead one family, generation by generation, from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory, through the dawn of civilization, to the establishment of a unique and powerful empire and beyond. Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago, along the banks of the Nile River in an area known as Nupt. Here, a small confederacy of clans struggles to eke out an existence in the harsh environment. With you at its head, your family leads this small settlement. Defeat conditions. The mission will be lost if you rise up to 5,000. Debans, or Debans, don't know what that is, and debt. Watch your treasury carefully. Right. Humble beginnings. Build houses. Um, just out of that wee talky bit there, one thing I want to bring up is a... Uh, so there, that's the housing plots down. And put down road. Happy days. Tutorial. Paths. Yep. Now we just need to wait time for people to move in. One of the things he talked about there is uh, he mentioned from prehistory. And now I hate the concept that history is only about humans. Surely you could say it would be perfectly fine to say history of the planet and talk about like uh, long before humans existed. You could talk about uh, the history of the universe and be even older than the planet. 
and that would still be the right word to use. I don't see why history is just humans. And I understand history, the subject, is history of humans, but I think it is very... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, not smug? Not very... Mm, I can't think of the word, but basically... I can't think of a way to describe it without using the word I'm trying to think of. But very arrogant! I think it's, there we go, that's one way to describe it. Very, I don't think it's the word I was trying to think of, but access to war. Yep, houses will need water. So we're going into that. So if we click on this house, this house can evolve as it does not have access to primitive water. Now it's saying build some wells. And these are the little wells that just provide water and an AOE of two around them. So boom, they all upgraded. They can now have more people in them. So yes, history, the subject, because it's the history of humans, and I thought that was really interesting. Also, another reason I want to sort of question the use of prehistory here, because it's just something I find interesting, and whilst we've got just none but boring tutorial, I thought it'd be an interesting topic to talk about. Um, there is some evidence starting to come to light that our concept of uh, when civilization started like in uh, Egypt, Babylon, that kind of thing, there may have been civilizations that predated them and there is starting to, some evidence starting to come to life to suggest that that could be a thing. Um, civilizations that rose and fell and we've just got no traces of them, next to no traces of them left, there is some evidence to suggest that. Not enough that it is starting to become fiddy yet from what I've seen and this is just my layman's understanding of it and the old guard and archaeologists can't don't even give this theory's merit yet like time of day but from what I'm seeing there is starting there is starting to be people that believe this there is starting to be a growing understanding of that may be the case and people are wanting to investigate and look because um, around the end of the ice age like last great ice age a lot of land was swallowed up by water and there's like hints that there may have been civilizations that existed there and have been lost and there's some people wanting to study that and see if there's more like there was this ancient monument up this hill somewhere in asia i can't remember where it is and uh, there's evidence to suggest that that was built long before where they currently think it was built and there's evidence of there being chambers deep down beneath it sort of think like a pyramid older than the pyramid kind of structure and when i said pyramid older than the pyramids i mean like the giza pyramids uh, but yeah oh i was waiting i was like why is nothing happening but then there we got to click off that right so now we need to improve their quality of life so we've got we can start trying to get food so yeah, tutorial. Boom, boom, boom. Now those guys are going to go out, look for people to do jobs. So yeah, I just thought that was something that is really interesting to talk about and why I'm questioning their use of the term prehistory. Technically, they are correct. I'm not saying they are wrong. I'm just saying that maybe in 50 years, what we consider history and prehistory will change and update. Because history, the subject, is anything we can have some sort of facts about. Not necessarily facts, like, um, so maybe we've got someone's writing about a battle. Now, we don't necessarily think that everything about that person's writing about the battle may be 100%. He maybe was from the winner's side, so as they say, like the winners often write history, that sort of stuff. So it doesn't mean we believe 100%, it just means we've got some sort of documentation to suggest what may have happened back then and anything like that is what they consider history anything before that they consider prehistory and if these latest theories which merit for their investigation but I think don't think they're anywhere near being proven fact just merit for their investigation if um, they turn out to be true that what we consider history and prehistory may be moved back, though I even disagree with our use of the term history there. Like, I think there needs to be a human added before the prehistory, so in human prehistory. And because 
the history of the planet goes back further. Then again, you could argue we don't have documentation to prove what like the world happened to the world before that, so they could argue that's not history, but I still think that is history of the planet. Just because we don't know it doesn't mean it didn't happen to the planet. So it's still the planet's prehistory. There we go. I'm rambling, but we should talk about the game. And I got that distracted, we're not even playing, but yeah. Right, I'm gonna stop getting distracted now. We're actually gonna start playing the game. So there's our bizarre. Let's speed things up, because again, this is just tutorial. I wanted to talk about it just because it was tutorial, and it's... yeah. No. This suggests we build roadblocks there, and there, and boom. Your city was successfully saved. Open the service category. Wants us to build... Oh, it's not telling us where to build these for the first time. So that will stop our buildings catching fire, and that will stop our buildings breaking down, they'll look after them. And now it's saying to get a more advanced water source. Boom. Finished tutorial. Well, first tutorial. Next mission. Play! And we'll try and beeline our way through this one a bit faster, just because I'll try not to ramble. I thought we were going to take that long, that oh well. After many years, and the passing of a generation, your family has resettled in the area of Inis, in Upper Egypt. Here, a small band of local rulers is attempting to extend its influence over Lower Egypt and all lands along the River Nile, and to unite this realm under its own house with one supreme leader. Establishing Finis as a thriving city like nothing ever seen before will prove the worthiness of the Thinite Confederacy and help them gain supremacy over Lower Egypt and the other factions vying for power. In time, this will mean providing the population with entertainment and building wonderful temples to worship the region's patron deity. To build a city this grand will require a substantial supply of cash. You'll find rich deposits of gold ore in Thinis, and harvesting them should be your first priority. Alright, new beginnings. So it's a... Uh, yep. Recommended we start our simple settlement like that, before, similar to everything we learned in the first one. Now... Let's uh, go here, there's a nice bit of water there. And let's uh, go da 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 da. We'll do that because. I've done this one before. And I just really mucked up. Why da do that? Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's fine, that's fine, actually, that's fine. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like that. around there like so and that's perfect that'll do for first of all and actually we're gonna need some water so good like that let's get rid of some of these trees the first thing they're gonna want is water so yeah we'll pop a water supply there now we just need to wait on our people moving in Whilst we're waiting on them moving in, let's get some food up and running. Let's place them... Now, they're going to need to be close enough to get... To get population from here. Because this guy, you'll see the guy going out looking for jobs. So they're going to need to be close enough. Let's stick a roadblock there for a start and let's get a couple of hunting lodges. Nope. Let's get free. And a bazaar. Right. Services. Speed management. Yep, up here. One of these. And let's get... That's a firehouse, we already got that one. The architect one there. And 
And we're gonna need a bazaar for distribution. We'll put that there. There we go, these are starting to upgrade. Very nice. We need to get 10 to Meager Shanty's level. This is Meager Shanty level. But does it mean 10 big buildings? Because surely one, two. So why is this one not evolving? A nearby house is causing it to be lower. Okay, let's slow things down to normal speed for a bit. Let's let. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty boxed in. Oh wait, oh! No wait, nope, that's just, nope, that's not what I thought. Alright, it's fine. Let's go further down. Hopefully some of them will be the Mika Shanties too. Can also bring this down like so. Happy days. They're just coming straight across. You know what we could build a path coming straight down here too. Just put a roadblock there. That'll help out a bit. Oh, the, mm, there we go. Oh no, it went back up, went back up. I was hoping some of them would turn into meager shanties. They don't look like they're gonna though. So we're gonna need some more meager shanties. Why are these not evolving? Need food from the local bazaar. So there's a bazaar. Ah, they're just coming in now. That's the food person there, isn't it? There we go. They upgraded. Now we got access to gold mines. Now we need to mine at least two of these. I'm gonna build three because I'm a greedy sod. Now let's take a look. So we have 114 people, uh, no, 114 workers out of 256 inhabitants. So we got plenty of workforce at the moment. Hey, we've unlocked the palace. Let's pop that in there. Boom, that'll increase the appeal. Which means now I could risk start building more houses around here now that the appeal's higher. Which is good. The gold mines will start delivering gold to our palace. And I love how the palace is just like the old one. But I'm looking for the little. Where's the little boy throwing the stone? Oh, is there no little boy constantly throwing the stone? And he'd go like, Ugh. huh? Oh, is that, am I thinking of Olympus? I think I might be thinking of Olympus Zeus. There comes the gold. I have to go clear across the city with these goods. It'll take all day. Crime, so now people may become criminals. So now we can build police stations. Let's build one just there. Boom. Happy days. Patrol your housing and your palace. It's just there. Now it's telling me about overlays, which are over here. And we have to go to the risk overlay and the crime risk overlay. So we can see the crime risk overlay. We can see it there. Health and disease is talking about now. So now we can also get a physician. We'll pop that person down there. So we got ourselves a doctor. Oh, and lots of people moved out. Why did they move out? Water. So they need more water. All right. So we're going to need another one of these. We'll build it there. Employees needed. Don't worry, they'll go get them. Oh, we need 42 workers because those houses were all downgraded. Not ideal, but good. We should start getting them there. Build temples to Bast now. Now we've got religion. Build two shrines dedicated to Bast. Let's build one. 
there. That fits in there nicely. And the other one will build there. We can also add more houses in now. A temple. Oh, we need a temple too. I did not see the temple. Let's pop the temple there. Now it wants us to build a festival square, which is a big square. Which, where in effort am I going to fit that? Hey look! They're upgrading! We're going to have even more people. Right, how big is the festival square? So we could fit it there. But we just need to go like so, and like so I think. Boom! Got ourselves a little temple squ uh, festival square. Stick a couple of houses there. Overseers, temple. We can hold a festival to blast. A lavish festival. Order the festival! Preparing a festival for blast. So why is this thing not upgrading? It needs food. We've got plenty of food there, the person must have just not walked past it yet. So let's take a look at our population now. We have 157 workers out of 353. Employment is at 15%. So we've got spare people, they've just not got a job yet. Hey, look at the little priest. What's the priest is to do? There is so little diversion here. I hope I'm credited for the great condition of this city. Right now, we have to give our people some entertainment! So let's build a juggling skill here that will teach people to juggle. And we need booths for them to play at to entertain people. Build one there and one there. So this place will train jugglers and the jugglers will go stand on these booths and entertain people! And the mission has been completed because some of our houses must have upgraded. Yeah, there they are! Boom! Because that was the final objective, is to get a house to that level. Boom! All done! Next mission. Now we're on level 3. This is where it's all new for me! So we have to get to a population of 600 and 10 level 7 homes. The Thinite nobles still struggle to unite the lands of the Nile under one supreme ruler. To aid them in their cause, it is hoped that you will endeavor to establish a thriving community at Perwajit, in the humid delta region of Lower Egypt, thus spreading their influence throughout the length of the sacred river. To support a population larger than that of a village, you must learn to use agriculture. Egyptian farmers have begun to exploit the rich fertile soil deposited by the annual inundation of the Nile River for growing crops. The Nile can be hazardous, however. Many dangers lurk along its banks and in its waters, such as deadly crocodiles, hippopotamuses, and malaria-carrying mosquitoes. This mission is lost if you get to negative 5,000 demons, which... Uh... He's saying this is Lower Egypt still, but on the campaign map there, we were getting pretty close to the very top of Egypt. Alright, floodplains and farming! So basically every time, like once a year, this will flood and then recede, and you'll only be able to build and do stuff here when it's uh, receded. And your farms will grow, you'll harvest them, then they'll have to let them flood again. So, uh, start building some farms along with a work camp. Right. So we could build ourselves some fig farms here. No road access. Ah, no, there's no road access. I don't know how many we need, but we'll build that many for now. We'll go like so. And let's build ourselves a work camp. Where's work camp? Well, we're going to need a granary, we'll pop that there. 
And we're going to need. There's a work camp. How big is it? Let's build two. Let's build three. And now we're going to need some houses. Let's build our houses along here. And we'll go like so. And we can expand at a later date. So for now. Let's build ourselves some basic stuff that they're going to need. A water supply. Let's build my palace. That'll give them a big boost in their appeal. And we're going to need... A, actually, we're going to need an architect ACP and fire ACP. Right, what else do we need ASAP? We need a bizarre ASAP. There we go, that's a good start. Very nice. We've got ourselves our first little initial settlement on the go here. Right, now we're going to want to stick a roadblock maybe there. And a roadblock there. Keep them inside this little area. Don't want them to go look for work elsewhere. So let's take a look. Unemployment is at 67%. We just need people to walk along here and get these people working. speed things up as we're waiting on people to move in and the jobs to get going. Okay, one workers, an additional 21 workers required. The farms have started to farm. There we go. Let's put things back. 97 workers, 16 additional workers required. Right, so these need food. Soon, when this harvest, they should start getting food. Right. Let's think how we want to expand this. Now, let's get the plaza down. Is that how much room I needed for the plaza? Where is it? Yep, that was how much room we needed. Malaria prevents close war and marshland allows more. Build an apothecary. Police station. Apothecary! We'll build that there. Oh, they've got some food! Yay! That'll get us more people. Should we build an infirmary too? Physician. Let's build that. Yeah, we're going to build that there. And then we're going to build this path coming up here for a bit. Like so, and then we can add more houses here. Happy days! Right, we are going to need some entertainment spots so as well, so I'm going to need to think about booths. We'll stick a booth there. And I've kind of unable to place a booth there at the moment, but one will do for now. The school doesn't need to be close, the school can go down there. Employees needed. Yeah, we're going to get some more employees soon. It is flooded, so we're going to have to wait till next year to get more food, unless there's an alternate food source. No, there's not. Right, let's speed things up. Oh, it's receded. Get the farmers out there. Right, so free. Wait, no. Free does seem to have enough to do it all. Keep upgrading your houses. We are going to. We are going to. City has saved. Right, we can't mine. So we're going to have to be a wee bit more careful with our money, because we're not going to be able to get money from mining. Right, let's speed things up until we get unemployment. Oh, we've got, we've got enough. We can get some stuff now. Let's get a... Oh, different god. Let's get ourselves a temple. No, we can put the temple there and it can uh, just go straight onto the plaza. Let's get a, oh not a temple, a couple of shrines like last time. Stick one there. 
one there. Industry! Now that you've been given your people the basics of food and water, enhance their lifestyle with other goods such as pottery, build a clay plant close to the water and a potter nearby, make sure they have access to labour as usual, blah de blah de blah, it's going to introduce a new production thingy maybe bar. Maybe we could build a road up here and we'll do it like here. Oh, these guys are all nice and upgraded. They're nice and happy. But we need more food to get these ones all upgraded as well. Right, let's build a path coming up here. And we're going to need clay pits. Oh, wait, no, we put them. Okay, 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 okay. Clay pits and a potter. Two potters. Happy days. That should give us access to more workers as well. And there's no need for this. Do they not even have access to water? Right, we're going to need to act to give them more uh, water then. We'll build another well. Here. Employees needed! Don't worry, we're about to get a massive recruitment and uh, population surge when these bring in their food for the year. In fact, we might need a second granary. I'll need to keep an eye on them. Because if this fills up so much, we might need a second one just to store it all. Workforce and unemployment. Okay, oh, they're all done. Does it fill up? Good, perfect, good. So was this an overlays? Was it what was the employment? Where is this? Ah, so you can tell them to take. Ah, you can take people away and administrators. You can see where, so I could take production buildings, take it away from stuff. If you want specific things to have the jobs. Well, that's kind of cool. In the old one. Can you build? Yeah, you can build and put stuff down when the water's still in. The old one, you couldn't do that. Right, now that they've got food... So, so oh, we need a storage yard. Let's pick that. Pop that there. Czar, buying figs and pottery. It's got figs, it's just not giving them to anyone new yet. Ah, they're about to get some. Happy days, how much has it got left? 142 and that's it. Ooh, we're going to need a lot more. Yeah, I think we should build some more farms. Let's build. Can we... Can we not build there? We can build there though. So it's fine, we'll get that there and then we'll build some more fig farms. Yeah. Some more fig farms! Let's see if we've got enough to do for both of them. Except none, except all pottery. So why is. No one can accept these Has it got no employees yet? That's okay. I can use the rest. Oh, that's a, just a shortcut to it. I don't, I don't want it. I need to wait for it to get employees. Unemployment's at 20%. Why is it not getting any jobs? Surely it's easy to find people now. City saved. Where's this dude looking for work? Is that him there? Why did he not hire people? Let's speed things up and they should start hiring. So we've got spare people. Beautification. Yay, we've unlocked beautification. A blessing from Osiris. Ooh. So, hey, there we go. They're finally loading up in the pottery. So now that they've loaded up in the pottery, these guys have pottery. Hardly enter any entertainment. So they need more entertainment. Is there a second... We may do then. 
as we may, pop that there so we can entertainment build that there. And that'll give some more jugglers around the place. Hopefully that'll do. And let's hold a festival too. I don't know if that gets entertainment up. Where was it? It was in this one. No, it was in this one, wasn't it? Not there. Temples. Hold a festival. Do a lavish one. Order the festival. That might increase entertainment. I hope it does. Supply of food from the local bazaar. Maybe I should build a second bazaar then as well. Hopefully that will increase it. Oh yes, look, these guys more entertainment. Yes, with the juggler going round. Yes, the nail's going to be even better, and we do have enough people doing all that, that's perfect. I may want to build a second granary though to make sure we can store it all, because we filled this one up just. Granary, we'll build a second granary. Yeah, both are on the right side, that's fine, we can build it there. Supply food, hopefully when this one starts going round, they'll upgrade all them. Now we just need to get 600, oh we got the 600 population done, 10 modest homes! That's what these are, yep they're modest homesteads, yeah! We're going well, things are going well! Unemployment, we've got a wee bit of an unemployment problem, let's uh... Build a police station, just in case! And we don't have a way to make money, as far as I can tell. Purification. Plaza. Oh no, some of these are downgrading. That's not good. It's because we're out of food, I think. We're out of food! So it's a good thing I built those farms. Let's speed things up. As these guys gather me food. Oh look, they're full! They need to wait. Oh, look at that! Came in just in time, got all the food. Like normal speed. This guy's got figs, this guy's got figs. So these all should upgrade now. Come on, what's this one? Need some beautification, I think. Oh, whoa, that's a big statue! BOOM! And with that, we did it! Culture rating, kingdom rating. And we'll save this mission for next time, because that is about a part. So I hope you have all enjoyed this. Join me on next time where we're going to jump into this doing Nick N. Which, uh, I'm hoping that that's going to be the tutorial completely over. And I'm trying to remember the original game. Was it about now that you built your first monument? Which was just literally the huge pile of bricks thing. It was like the big rectangle shaped pyramid that was just bricks. It was... If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you took a pyramid, make it chopped off the top three quarters of it, and then took a s s slice down the middle to make it a rectangle, so it doesn't have, it's not a square, it's like you just cut off the two top and bottom to turn it into a rectangle. That's kind of like the first monument you built in the first game. And yeah, you have to, I'm guessing that's about now, I'm hoping we can do that soon, because I really want to start building monuments, I think it'd be really cool. Hope you've all enjoyed this, which I'll see you all next time. Bye see bye.